Welcome everyone. We are back with the Brogue Round Robin Day 2. Hope you all are doing well. And if you caught the last episode, you'll know that we started a new Round Robin account similar to the NetHack Round Robin we've been doing, but this time for Brogue. And I did the first... Well, actually, I kicked off the first game and then I did a video a couple of days ago. And now this run is the same run that I played a couple of days ago. We left off on Def 10. It was the last one we cleared. And now someone cleared most of Def 17 and then left this puzzle. So a lot of people have played in between, and I am excited to see what we actually have going on for us now. We were playing, if you remember, a Conjuration build. So it looks like our staff has the same max charges, and they've just really been pumping up this Ring of Wisdom. I'm curious, what was the recharge rate? We get a charge every 17 turns. That's pretty sweet. What else do we have here? A War Pike, Splint Mail, uh, Ring of Awareness, which in my last two uh, runs outside of this, I've really grown to appreciate a Ring of Awareness. At plus two, I've been, I was finding like pretty much every trap. Pretty awesome stuff. We have a spare scroll of enchanting. Firebolt. Um, looks like we're still carrying that second conjuration staff. I think this is actually kind of trash on this build. No, we only really want to use the one. This one takes 51 turns to recharge and it only summons like three blades, I think. Protection, teleportation charm. So this one this scroll of enchanting can be used to charge our teleportation charm in emergency which is pretty nice so even if it's charging up we can charge it and it gets recharged instantly then it also gets enchanted and it's a pretty nice um, thing to enchant what does protection give us right now shields us for 28 percent of our total health which i don't know what our health is right now we had two potions of life before and 40 health so i think we're at, must be at least 60 right now what's firebolt recharge rate only 51 turns it's pretty sweet Carrying around enchanted plate mail and a scale mail. Good stuff. And the plate is magic protected. Oh, so is the splint. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Or did I say magic protected? Just protected. All right, what's our situation here? We are currently telepathic. They left us, the last player left us a little bit of telepathy so we could see what's on the level. Um, there's some Dar over here. A couple of bog monsters or eels or something. Could even be krakens at this depth, I think. Um, so not much, so we're just going to go and do this puzzle. A lot of people hate this puzzle. And I've done it like twice. I don't have a ton of experience with it. And how it works is every time you step on one of these red glyphs, the a bunch of these enemies move towards you, one tile. And it's really hard to like get through it without them like... They can like block you in. You can, get, you can actually get like soft locked in the game. Now, I think our strategy is probably going to be able to run through and then uh, use our teleport charm to get out. Now, they also zap lightning, and then the lightning goes, like, it bounces off all this crystal, which is really difficult. There's sentinels up here. Okay, I would like more health. I don't know if we're going to get that. What are our consumables right now? Potion of Descent. Pretty much it. So, uh, we don't have a lot of stuff to get us out of trouble. And we can't... These guys zap lightning, so you can't use like the blades to block you, because lightning goes through things, so... Oh, let me tell the people in the Discord that I'm actually playing here, so no, no one else tries to log in. Before I forget, I don't really know what happens if two people try to log in, but I don't want to find out. All right. All right, I would like more health before entering this puzzle. To be completely honest with you. 
Alright, there's some Dar over there. Do we try to deal with them now? So, this is still my first time playing a Conjuration build this run. It worked pretty well before. I don't know how strong it is right now. Looks like we killed the Wraith. I imagine we can kill some Dar, though. See what happens. Maybe I should have waited for them to come out of the corridor so we could fight them in the open. I think having more blades on them is uh is better. All right, I'm going to hide here for now. Yeah, the dark blade master is just killing our our blades. Whoops. Stealth range 19. All right, looks like I can get around without the Dar seeing us. Dart, I wonder if it's sitting on a trap. So I think they said, it looks like the dart or the the blades can actually kill these sentinels, which is actually really awesome. Let's see if we can get through it with by doing that. I wonder how good they are at that. I'm I'm really concerned about my health right now. It doesn't tell you what kind of, how much damage they do. So what do we actually have in here? An unknown scroll, potion of telepathy, and a gray potion. There's usually like a scroll of enchanting hidden in here, which is really sweet. So here's a stone guardian. They don't shoot anything. You just can't hurt them. They're the ones that like block you in. Oh. Okay, so there's some sentinels. Let's see if our conjuration staff can kill these things. I'm gonna back up. This crystal is dangerous. Oh. Are my blades setting off the gri the glyphs? Did this move? That could be a problem. Let's see what happens. And the dar are still over there, which problematic potentially. Actually, the dar's at half health. The sentinel's getting beat up. Okay. Okay. I got one charge left on this conjuration. Hmm. I want to send in some reinforcements for the Dar. We might just rest to both heal and recharge our conjuration. Can I get over. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Get the priestess. Too bad I couldn't get them to block. There we go. That one's blocking the two of them now. Wait, why am I moving? That was weird. I thought I was hitting rest. Okay, I think the Dar are gone. Good. All right, I think we need to wait for conjuration here. Something's fighting something. Heck yeah. 
That one's dead. That one's dead. Wow, Conjuration is awesome in here. Have room for nine items in our pack. We can pick all this stuff up. Some blades down here. I guess we don't want to spawn too many because if they're going to spark the blades, it's going to kill. It's going to go through them. So we only really want enough as many as can attack this thing at once. Otherwise, we're going to be wasting some of them. All right, I want to get some up here as well. All right, let's see what happens. I hit wait again, and I moved up. And I moved again. Is that part of this puzzle? Do I move too? I never, hmm. I gotta read about this puzzle, I guess. Am I just supposed to move back and forth? Maybe I should go and get this. Okay, yeah, they killed the one up there. So one reason I feel like I could be so lax with this puzzle and not think about it too much is we can just teleport out if we really need to because we have a teleportation charm that's charged up. Oh, did you see that? A spark got all the way up here. The the web brogue isn't very good at showing the, uh, the, the full spark animation, it looks like. Oh, my God. Where did that one come from? Okay, like we have to step on this one. The glyph beneath you glows and the guardians take a step. All right, let's get some blades down here. Oh my God, why do I keep moving when I hit five? Okay. Oh, that's a winged guardian. That's not a. That's not a sentinel. What is the difference between a winged guardian and a stone guardian? I wonder. I'm not gonna wonder too much, but I mean, one might fly, presumably. How are we going to get around here? That's a dead end. Hmm. Oh, wait, is that a sentinel? That's another wind guardian. I'm not going to be able to get down here by the time I get blocked up here. If I move up here, these guys are going to block this path, and then I probably won't be able to come back down. Actually, this Wind Guardian's already got me blocked a bit up here. Can I do this? Oh, shoot. I have to attack him if I try to move diagonally because I have the spear equipped. You always attack before you you move. So I need to move like down and around. I'm attacking like something that can't be hurt. Oh, the wind guardians move fast. Is that what they do? Okay. Oh, these ones blink. I remember now. Where's the sentinel at? Uh-uh. Get conjured. Yeah, see the, the wind guardian blinks to you. Okay. I remember now.
So if I step here, this guy's gonna block me in. Oh, I can use my negation wand to stop one of these two. I think we have a clear path. Oh, and there's two potions down there. There's a potion of life, okay. That will make everything worth it. Oh shoot, can I get out this way? He's gonna move twice and block me. I could probably block the Wing Guardian with Spectral Blades if I really wanted to. Um, I need this guy to move up twice. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get blocked in, huh? Oh, can I do this? Hold up. What if... Can I block this guy? Oops, I attacked that one again. I go too far, isn't it? Oh my god, the pike is actually makes maneuvering through here pretty annoying. I could take it off. My health is getting a little low again. I gotta pay attention to that. All right, can he move now? Looks like he can't. Perfect. Ah, uh, but this guy didn't move either. There's like too many. All right, I'm gonna wait for these guys to get in the right position. Mm. It's not working. Maybe I try try to go back around. I gotta watch my health in here too, because I'm not gonna be able to get this one blocked without this one blocked right now. It looks like. How much do these guys hit for? Thirty-five percent of my current health. Oh, but I don't have a ton of health. Yikes! All right, let's try this. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because now I can't get out of here without risking a lot of attacks, I think. I'm actually in a bad spot. I think we just tell you out and then we come back in and we can probably get these two potions. Oh, what a terrible spot. Oh, wow, I actually grabbed gold. I don't like this. I don't have a lot of health. No telly anymore. Let's rest a little bit. Okay. That's mine. Oh, we didn't have a telepathy charm. Okay. Oh, I should use the protection charm. That would have been smart. And I am not behaving smart. Oh, we didn't check this room either. It's okay, we can do it on the way out. That imp is going to try and blink to us. Not if I say so. Blink pat. Oh, why'd they go past them? I didn't line that up properly. I should have hit it. Tried to hit him with it. Um, 
Use the baby staff. There we go. Get blocked. Imp steals like your items and then blink around. It's super annoying. This build can actually kind of deal with it though. All right. We're back, and I don't have telepathy or teleportation anymore. We have to be careful. So what I can do now that I know this works is just block block them. Like I just do this. Conjuration. Get blocked. You're going nowhere, buddy. You are in an annoying spot where you're probably gonna beat me up, attack me three times to get past you, but... Oh, I'm attacking him. Oh my god, I actually can't get past him without unequipping my weapon. Remove Warp Pike. Oh, we took no hits. And I can get out without needing to, or I can get out with my warp pike on, so I'm just going to equip it now before I forget. Oh my god, that's another sentinel. Let me just grab these potions real quick. And don't force me to drink this potion of life. Alright, let's get out of here. I can pull this guy. Oh, he's blocked. Why did I do that? Let's just run past and hope I don't get hurt. Cool. Well, that puzzle's taken care of. Now, it looks like that imp was still down here. What was this uh, stealth ring enchantment, by the way? That doesn't say. I wonder if that would have been good commutation fodder. Actually, this Conjuration Staff would be good for Commutation, too. Commutation lets you swap the enchantment values of two items. Alright, let's go check what's in here real quick. Nada. Alright. This looks like potential secret room, but I'm not going to go up there and look. Probably unlikely, but a possibility. All right, that floor is cleared. We grabbed, what did we grab? Gray potion, potion of life, potion of telepathy, and a scroll. Not bad. What are our undiscovereds? So the scroll is protect weapon, magic mapping, or negation. And the potion could be a bunch of stuff. So the scroll, I'm inclined to just read now and see if we can protect our weapon. Do we want to protect our weapon? I think so. Acid jellies are probably going to pose a threat. I assume conjuration blades aren't great against jellies because they don't do a lot of damage and they split. Not 100% sure about that, but just, just a guess. Hmm. Firebolt is very good against jellies, though. Firebolt and then Conjure. I mean, we could see wait to see if we get like a cool runic weapon. But it's probably not going to get much better than a war pike for us. And I, I'm always going to YOLO, just read test this. I don't think we're ever going to use a scroll of identify on this. So I see no ill effects of negation from using this here. I don't think there's anything we want to negate from our inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and test this. We do have the war pike equipped. Either negation, magic mapping, or protect weapon. It is protect weapon. War pike protected. All right. I go ahead and search. 
I remember now that control search does a long search automatically. So I will be doing that from now on. So I'm used to from playing vanilla. I'm um, CE, the community edition of Brogue reverted it to like an older version of search where it does like partial searches. All right, this looks like an ally that we could rescue. I'm curious who that is or what that is. And also it looks like when we were down here with telepathy, there was not a lot of stuff here. Probably can't afford to search too much. Man, I forgot how deep we were in the dungeon. Got brimstone here already. This could be a sweet ally, actually. Guarded by two trolls. How about we firebolt? So you're burning. And then make you deal with the blades. So there was something over here. I'm mildly concerned about it coming this way and pincering us. Might back up to this door. Okay, that didn't do a lot to this troll. I kind of want to get the other one burning too. Let's see what more blade spam does. Slowly hurting him. Oh, am I supposed to warp hike him? What are what are our odds of hitting this guy? Thirty four percent chance to hit. That's actually not bad. What am I doing? I just don't run out of blades and have to fight these guys alone. So now I can warp hike him through the blades, which is pretty sweet. I hit the troll. Right there. There's so much message spam, I can't tell if we're hitting or not. Doesn't look like it. I might have hit it that time. And I'm almost out of blades. I was a little afraid of this. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh my god. <laughs> that one sucks. Okay, we killed the one. Let's retreat. This one I think is guarding. shoot a flame turret I didn't think he would follow us this far go for a trek through the brimstone skill now the trolls blocked by fire get wrecked look at that skill the perfect escape now let's rescue this captive centaur, which has pretty good health because I lured the trolls away and he got a chance to heal. Normally they just keep like beating them. And now he's gonna shoot at the troll. Yeah, the centaur shoots the troll. Oh, you think you're leaving the brimstone? I don't think so, buddy. You are hungry and have no food. Yeah, that's a problem. Hopefully there's food on this floor. Got him. What a fun uh, little, little encounter that was. Uh-oh. Our blades are fighting something. Oh, there must be a phantom.
Which ones are fighting? There's a phantom we're in trouble. It's here. Ectoplasmic residue. Actually, can I hit you with fire? The flame hit something. It's too bad you can't see burning phantoms. I start backing up. I'm out of conjuration. Oh my god, there's an Agile Golem? That's scary. You have a 21% chance to hit this Golem and typically hit for 2% of its current health. At best, you could defeat it in 32 hits. So at the absolute best, we kill this in about 150 turns because we have a 1 in 5 chance to hit. But, but on average, and since that's so many freaking hits... Probabilities will average out. It takes about 250 attacks to kill this thing. And it moves quickly, so if we flee, it attacks us every turn. What a mess. I'm just going to negate that. <laughs> the golem falls to the ground, lifeless. Yeah, not dealing with that one today. I already got a phantom here I don't know what to do with. <laughs> Get away, agile golem. All right, what are we doing with this thing? More blades on it. Should be burning. I imagine it's going to die soon. Oh, shoot, I moved into the... The brimstone, at least I didn't catch fire. Something missed. Oh, I guess I can't attack it because I can't see it. Your spectral blade defeated something. Okay, it's gone. All right, I guess while we're over here, let's go see what's off to the right. Ouch. Roll Discord. Let's pick that up. All right, we desperately need food. Wait for the fire to go out. The one in front of the door always takes forever. You hear something get destroyed in combat. Spectral blades are like little alarms. Hmm. I wonder what that was. Shoot a flame turret. I want to back up because I want to search. Lots of gas trap. All right, let's clog up the flame turret, I guess. I don't know if those guys will actually kill it. Um, that's another potential phantom. Just in case. I think I'm going to do another trek through the... Brimstone. I feel like we have to get over here. Oh god. It's 
So Brimstone has like three states. I forget exactly how it works. Oh my god, another scaled Brimstone expedition. It had so it basically has like active, fire, and then like cooldown. So I think, and I don't think you can like game it too much, but I think if like the fire just went out, there might be at least one turn that it's safe to step on. Now, I don't know if that turn can only be used if like you predicted that it would go out. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I think that you can like game it a bit. So I was trying to like step where I remembered there was fire. Oh, there's the food. Thank God. Oh shoot, there's a troll too. He's still wandering. I'm gonna wait. What? Oh! I think every time I hit five, it moves to my cursor. Dude, it screwed up my sneak attack. Wow, that's annoying. I was gonna get a sneak attack on him. I kill this thing. Barely. <laughs> that thing wrecks these turret or these uh, blades. All right. Well, there's a troll wandering somewhere. He's probably gonna come back because there's brimstone over there. I could wait for the sneak attack. I don't want to move up here and search. Oh, that's steam vent. Okay. I saw the the vent. I was like, I better search. Okay, I think the centaur is fighting the troll. Okay, he's hunting now. Um, too close. I don't want him to clo uh, close the gap on me, so I'm not going to use conjuration, or I'm not going to use firebolt on him. I'm just going to use conjuration right away. We'll see if we can just kill him through the blades. I think I can use the baby staff again. The baby staff is actually a little useful. I'm actually surprised at the value I'm getting. The troll's not aggroing us, so I guess I don't have to fill the gap between me and him. Okay, troll's dead. Let's eat the food. Very timely. Any secret door here? Looks like not. You're not guaranteed with a, even a long search, but it's a pretty good chance. I usually don't search twice unless I'm fairly certain there's something there. Oh shoot, there's a pixie. And gating my blades. I'm only gonna get one at a time, right? I assume. Oh, she's in flea mode. Because they don't like to be in active combat, so I don't think she's attacking at all. Or, well, she's not casting the gate again. She's attacking, though. I think they need help. Okay, nothing is over here. All right, let's check this way. I don't know if going up or down is going to be faster, so let's just move this way. Teleportation charm recharge, that's nice. Okay, here's the stairs. This looks uh, oddly the same. I feel like the colors are different than they used to be. I wonder if we have like different options set. Oh, you know what it is? Color effects. There we go. Oh my god, the game looks so much better. Oh, I can see again. That was so weird. I don't really know what the color effects are, but the game looks a lot better now. In my so humble opinion. Staff of Protection. I guess we can protect our Centaur. So these are like, they call them curse staves because you can't actually use these on yourself. 
So if you try to shoot an ally with a stat to test it and it happens to be protection, it's like a bad thing. That's why they're cursed. Um, but we can actually shoot our centaur with this. Wow, hold up. Wait, that's the charm. This staff will shield a creature for up to 20 turns against up to 18 damage. That's the only time so far I've ever seen something reference damage directly in Brogue. Like, it almost doesn't make sense for it to say that because there is no concept of 18 damage in this game. My Warpike does no damage. It does a percentage of your enemy's health when you hover over them. That is weird. Two paralysis triggers in the same room. That's interesting. I wonder if this connects. Oh, this must have been the golem. Yeah, it looked like one of those statue things that we saw in telepathy. Those are pretty common to be golems. Something's attacking my blades. Well, I have full... Conjurations. I'm just going to send some blades. Oh, shoot. I'm doing it again. I got to keep my mouse off the... Off the map. Um, okay, so this doesn't connect. We can check that out before we hit the stairs. It's kind of back over there. Another troll over there. I had a feeling there was a secret here. Leather armor. So the more like mundane the armor or like lower value or whatever you want to call it. I guess like in this game, like the lower the armor value, the more likely it is to have a runic. So like plate mail, I don't think we'll ever have a runic, but leather armor could potentially have a, a runic. And some runics are like game breaking. But we're definitely going to see what this is. Okay, here's a wandering troll. I am just going to blast you with Firebolt. Wow, that burning's doing. Oh shoot, I'm moving over here again. Oh my god. I got it. That's going to be a hard habit to break. I don't think it does it on my local install. Okay. I guess we're going to see what's up here. Oh man, it keeps meandering around. It's nothing. Okay. Alrighty, here I'm gonna let my centaur come down and I think we're gonna call it here. This is a short one I just did one Map and well that puzzle took a while. That was like half the map. So we did like a floor and a half uh, But I want to do a whole another floor right now. That was that was a fun floor So we'll call it here. So what, what did we get here? We got a potion of life a gray potion. We got to protect our war pike I wonder if it's gonna be worth enchanting at some point I kind of want to enchant our Ring of Wisdom again and get our Conjuration staff um, like even faster recharge. Firebolt is an interesting enchant target, I feel like. And I still like having the Emergency Teleportation Charm via Enchanting Scroll. We got food, which was freaking huge. Uh, we had that fun kill on the Golem with Negation. We had some sweet uh, Brimstone traveling and not getting punished for it. 
That was a cool encounter with the two trolls and the centaurs where he, like, looped around and then blocked him in with fire from the brimstone. And then freed the centaur to kill the troll. That was epic, actually. Good stuff. Um, yeah, let's call it here. Oh, I want to know what this leather is, too. That could be interesting. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to get involved and check out this... If you want to play on this account, and I highly encourage it, no matter what your experience level is, no judgment on this account, then definitely come and check it out. We're organizing it on the Discord currently. So... Um, if you go in there, there's a, a Tone Robin Brogue channel, and the pinned messages will tell you how to get access, and the guidelines for playing. So definitely check that out. Um, if you're into the Brogue content, I have, it's going to be, a, I got to get some Cogmind VODs uploaded, but I have a Brogue run on my Twitch channel that I just finished up last week, and I have another one that I will be continuing this weekend, and we just got the amulet, and I'm going for another mastery. I'm going to go for some Lumen Stones too this time. It's going to be fun. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.